Hi guys, I'm back today to share with you the next four plates in the Hee Hee Science Collection. So I've already um, shared with you plates 85 through to 88 and I, if you haven't seen that I'll link that video down in the um, description box so you can check that one out too. Um, so this is the next four plates, there's 12 in the set all together. So these are actually original Hee Hee stamping plates. Um, you can tell that they're original because they come in a cardboard sleeve like that. Um, on the back they have a pictured instructions on how to use the plates. So if you're new to nail stamping, it's quite good to follow that. Um, so the cardboard's really nice and thick and sturdy. I really like the look of it. I think it's just nice and fresh. Um, I think some ladies actually stamp images of uh, from the actual plate on the outside of the cardboard sleeve to decorate it so you can do that um, I choose not to because I just like them as they are and I actually don't store my plates in here I actually store them in a folder with all my other circular plates so um, the plates measure five and a half centimeters across which is I think about two and a quarter or so inches um, they all have the backing on, on there so it's like a cardboard or a paper backing on the back so um, sort of protects the edges too um, so they're not sharp. So that's another feature of original Hee Hee plates. The, um, there are a lot of fakes and dupes out there, a lot of people aren't actually aware of them. So um, original Hee Hee stamping plates um, come in the cardboard sleeves and have the logo on the back and then that's how you know you're getting originals. So um, this is plate 89. Um, there's some really cool, quite unusual images on all of these plates. So um, what I'll do is you always have to remove the um, blue plastic film, which I'm having trouble with removing here. So um, before you can do any nail stamping, always remove the, um, the plastic film. So I will do that with these four plates and then I'll link um, close up shots of what they look like. And then we'll begin the swatching. Okay. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm going to be using my Born Pretty Black Stamping Polish and also I'll be using this Body Shop um, Silver Colour, what's it called? Um, silver Metal. So that's just a regular nail polish. Um, I'm hoping it's going to stamp. I haven't actually tried it before. Um, if it doesn't work, I will switch back to um, OPI Silver Canvas, which is also just a regular nail polish, but I know that this one stamps okay. But I'm hoping this one is going to too. And I'll be using my um, stamper, which is a, it's a Born Pretty store sticky blue stamper head. And that's just in a Moyu London um, holder. And I'll also be using, here it is, um, my Born Pretty store scraper, which is one of my favorites. It's just a real flexible one. And you can see that I've used it heaps. So I'll be using that today. And um, I'll just be swatching on to some pop sticks. Okay, so sit back and relax and enjoy. Okay, so I'm back with um, Hee Hee Plate 89 and you can see from the pop sticks there that they both actually stamped really well. Um, I'm actually not even sure what half of the stuff is on here. Um, it's very weird and wonderful looking. I know this part here is DNA, um, so I've sort of done the DNA swatch there on the gold um, and with the black, black on top of the gold it looks pretty cool, but um, yeah. Um, they've both stamped really well so I'm pleased with that plate and that's number 89.
Okay, so there we have um, plate he he 90 and um, I just watched these two images here. Um, they've come out really nice and clear too. It doesn't seem to be any missing fine lines as you can see there. I'm not sure again what all these symbols are for. They're obviously um, scientific equations of some sort. Um, and different symbols and that and then there's a couple of um, cats playing with it looks like a radioactive logo so <laughs> it's it's a bit out there there's um there's an apple in there too and all sorts but uh, I really like these sort of framed parts of the images I think they're really cool but again um no problems with um, picking up or transferring those images and they've both come out really nice and clear so um, another thumbs up on that plate there Okay, so here we have plate 91, and um, I really do like this plate. It's got some really cool mountain type images up there, um, which of course I've gone and stamped sideways, I realised after I'd done it. And a really cool sort of inky looking water marble type um, design down there. Some really neat triangles and mandala type designs. So, chose these two designs here and they've both stamped really really well um, there's no missed images or missed parts of it even though the ones with the mountain are quite fine lines but they've both stamped really really well so another thumbs up with plate 91 Okay, so here we have the last of these four plates that I'm sharing with you today. So plate number 92. Um, and it's got some really weird and wacky images again. It's got a brain, it's got eyelashes, some little swirly bits here, some eyes, and a heart, and pills. So I've um, swatched obviously the pills and the eyes. I thought they were really quite cool. Again, no problems with stamping or picking up or transferring of those images. They've come out nice and clear. Um, so yeah, that concludes my part of um, sharing these plates with you. I'll definitely link down um, in the description box, like I've said before, plates 85 through to 88. So you can have a um, look at those um, and I'll leave obviously photos of these too so you can have a closer look at them and you're welcome to pause at any time. Definitely um, subscribe to my channel, it's free to do that if you haven't already. Um, I do weekly um, tutorials um, two times a week in most cases and sometimes I'll even do um, nail plate reviews and shares and swatches like I have done today with these hehe -he plates and I'll leave links as to where you can buy these plates too down in the description box. If you're on Instagram you can follow me there too and um, I'll leave the address down at the bottom of the screen here for you um, it's just Manisha M nail designs with um, an underscore in between each word or letter so thanks again for watching guys and um, catch up soon take care thanks bye